In this course, we're going to create a very, very simple app using Adobe XD. And this is the kind of app we're going to make that's right here on the screen. So it's a little bit of a chance for you to see the finished result. It's a simple tutor booking service where the student would come along and choose the kind of area that they need some help with. And then it would take them through to a screen that allowed them to make some kind of booking depending on time and then just a congratulations screen. So very simple, but it allows us to get into XD and explore some of the features. So let's go ahead and start this. I'm going to press Command N or Control N on a PC, and I'm going to choose iPhone XXS. So I'm given my new screen, as we can see here, and now I'm going to import the assets to this. Go to the File menu and choose Import, and you can get hold of these assets from the Education Exchange. I'm going to choose the background and choose Import, and in it comes. I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt at the same time, and that way I can scale it up on both axes and just kind of bring it up a little bit and make it look something like that. Maybe move it this way just a touch. Uh, maybe just up a little bit as well. And that's perfect. So when we click on it, we can see the area that's kind of cut off at the edges, but um, when we just click off again, it disappears. So anytime we're on the screen, we'll see those at the edges. Next thing I want to do is bring in my logo. So again, I go to File, Import, choose the logo, and in that comes, we'll leave it the same size that it is right here, and just take it up a little bit and place it about here on the screen. Then we use the text tool over here. Click on the screen, let's put this centered. And then we'll select the color of this by using the eyedropper tool to choose from over here. And I'm gonna take this up to 60 for the size and we'll change the typeface to Myriad Pro. And we'll choose bold condensed. Okay, we're gonna add some more text, but we're going to make it a slightly smaller size now. Let's make it white. And just regular text. Okay, once we've got that, we can now start to add some buttons in below it because we're asking a question here. So there's got to be a response for the user. And this also helps immediately. If anyone comes to this, there's a question. So they know that there is something that they've got to respond to. So I'm gonna copy this and just paste it. We get a, another copy of it right here. So I'll just put in here, language and grammar, which would be a great start for us. And I'm gonna create a box around this. I don't want any fill in this, let's turn the fill off and let's make the border white. And bring it in a little bit, don't want it too big. And then we'll make the corners on that so it fits nicely on there. Okay, so we're gonna select the box on the outside, which is gonna be our kind of button. And I'm gonna shift click and, and get the text in the center. Then we're gonna to go to this option up here called repeat grid. So click that button and we get the ability to repeat it on different axes. We only need it to go downwards. So we're gonna grab this and bring it downwards and make four other buttons from this. Now this is clever enough that all we need to do is double click into the text and we can just change the text and it will change each one separately. So with that completed, we've almost finished the first screen. I'm just thinking that I might need something at the bottom here just to um, make it look a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna double click inside this background element and click again, and I've got this swoop that's here. So if I copy that and then come out and click it, I get a copy of it. So I'm gonna drag this down on the screen. I'm gonna rotate it slightly. Like so, place it like this at the bottom. And then for the color of this, I'm gonna choose the blue that's here. So it looks like it disappears, but if I click the blue, I can then just bring it a little bit darker like that, just to add a little interest there at the bottom of the screen. So 
we got that in place. There we go. Okay, now that screen is complete, we're going to select the text at the top here and it turns blue. I'm going to copy that. So that's either Control or Command C and Control or Command V to paste it. We don't need the icon on this one. We're going to take this text and put it right up in the top corner and scale it right down. And then we're going to continue with the question here. And then I don't need any of these on the screen right here. So let's get rid of that. I'm going to draw in a box to put my times in. So make it something like this, bring it down a little bit. And again, let's add some nice round corners to that. Let's get rid of the border. And on the fill this time, if we click the fill, instead of where it says solid color, let's choose a linear gradient to put in here. So linear gradient, I am going to select a color like this, but I'm going to make it much lighter. So drag it over this way. And then the dark color, I'm going to choose a sort of purple from up here, but again, I'm going to make it much, 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 much lighter. And that works well. I like that. So I'll copy this text from over here, copy and paste it. It always lands in the same spot, so we just have to bring it over. And I'm thinking the color for this could be the color from here. And this is going to say the day on it. Let's do Monday. I'll take it down to 48. But it's not quite as big. Now my idea for this would be that if this was a fully working app, we'd be able to swipe left and right here and move through the different days of the week. That would be a sort of good way to do that. Maybe even have some buttons at the top if people haven't got the idea of swiping it. Let's copy this text. I'm just all dragging down. Let's bring it to front. So you can do that by pressing shift command and the right square bracket or shift control in the right square bracket and for the color let's use the blue from off here and we'll take this down to 16. so i'm going to say on here 9 a.m and i'm going to have the word available and i just make that bold so we've got the 9 a.m. and available. And then we're going to have a line that goes near this. If you hold shift, you get it right the way across the screen. Let's make it that same color. Oh, that's looking great. OK, maybe just move that text down a little bit from there. So with the text and the line, let's select them both and we we'll both go back to the repeat grid. And we'll drag this downwards and it gives us some availability. Let's get the next line as well. Okay, we'll just nudge that up with our cursor keys. So I'm just going to fill the text in here and join me on the other side of this. Okay, I've got that done now. And so we can see clearly times that are available. I've made the others not as bold so that therefore it stands out to the user. They can book those times. And then we're gonna do one more screen. In fact, I'm gonna copy the first one again. So select it up here at the top, it says iPhone. Copy that, hit paste, and we get our last screen here. I'm gonna use this to say congratulations, which is kind of a long word. I'm gonna to have to make it smaller. Made out 36. We don't need this text here, so let's get rid of this. And then let's update the text here.
Okay, so we've got the congratulations on your booking and I think we also will put a tick on here as well. So I'll do that with the pen tool. If you hold shift, you get 45 degree lines. Let's make that 20 pixels. Let's make it round corners. And the color for this, I'm gonna add in it's 60 D zero B A. Okay, so when you've done that, we've got all of our screens in place and next time we'll wire this up so that we can make a prototype out of it. So let's save this and you can either save it as a cloud document or on your computer. So I'm gonna call this Tutor Me app. I'm gonna say it's version one as well. And that's us done for this part of creating the design. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange. And click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.